comedian and now maybe activist John Stewart is back at it, blasting the most powerful Republican in Congress for what he says is just playing politics with 9-11 victims and, quote, slow walking a vote on this fund that you may have heard about all this controversy. The feud began when an emotional John Stewart was testifying on the Hill calling for action. A filled room of 9-11 first responders and in front of me, a nearly empty Congress. Sick and dying, they brought themselves down here to speak to no one. Your indifference cost these men and women their most valuable commodity, time. It's the one thing they're running out of. Why this bill isn't unanimous consent and a standalone issue is beyond my comprehension. It'll get stuck in some transportation bill or some appropriations bill and get sent over to the Senate where a certain someone from the Senate will use it as a political football. They did their jobs with courage, grace, tenacity, humility. 18 years later, do yours. Do yours. That certain someone from the Senate that John Stewart is referring to is someone you may have heard of, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Stewart also called out McConnell directly by name and rebuked what he saw as his lack of compassion. McConnell has famously said he's the grim reaper, that he can bury just about any bill, but now he says he doesn't understand why Stewart was, quote, bent out of shape. We have never failed to, to address this issue and we will address it again. I don't know why he's all been out of shape, but we, we will take care of the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. Members have a lot of things going on at the same time uh, and it sounds to me like he's looking for some way to take offense. There's no way we won't address this problem appropriately. We have in the past and we will again in the future. It will That's one explanation and depending on where you come in and what altitude, it might sound reasonable. They're busy. They'll get to it. Well, John Stewart didn't take this sitting down. He'd already finished, of course, his testimony, but he is someone who has many offers to speak. I can tell you he happens to turn a lot of them down. On this issue, he's using his platform. So he went on television last night on The Late Show and told McConnell what he thought about his remarks. I'm not bent out of shape. I'm fine. I'm bent out of shape for them. These are the first heroes and veterans and victims of the great trillions of dollars war on terror. And they're currently still suffering and dying and in terrible need. You know, you would think that that would be enough to get Congress's attention, but apparently it's not. I didn't know that they were busy. <laughs> I, I'm so, I'm so, I'm, oh boy, now I don't even know what to say. I, I'm so, so, I didn't mean to interrupt them with their jobs. <laughs> Honestly, Mitch McConnell, you really want to go with the we'll get to it when we get to it argument for the heroes of 9-11? Listen, Senator, I know that your species isn't known for moving quickly. <laughs> but damn, Senator, you're not good at this argument thing. Basically, we're saying you love the 9-11 community when they serve your political purposes. But when they're in urgent need, you slow walk, you dither, you use it as a political pawn to get other things you want, and you don't get the job done completely. And your answer to that charge is, yeah, duh. John Stewart is quite the communicator, and he has been publicly advocating for 9-11 first responders since the beginning, standing with them and advocating for them. And over the years, He's also forged a relationship with a responder named John Field. He was a demolition specialist at Ground Zero. He had part of his left foot amputated after an 8,000-pound steel beam fell on him at that site. He spent 11 weeks in the hospital. He's had nearly 40 surgeries. He's worked with Stewart for all these years and actually was by his side on Capitol Hill during this hearing last week. And tonight, right now, he's here on the beat live for an exclusive interview when we're back in just 30 seconds. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.